Okay. Good. So yeah, I I been thinking about programming and I wanted to talk about programming and then I I did this uh, little presentation about programming at C++ now and I thought I'd share that with you because it's actually a fun experience. So um, yeah, I've been thinking about programming and you know the future of programming is already uh, Michael hinted and so you know during your career um, you usually do like at least one of those and you know you, you specialize in like C++ and then you like you know or, like template metaprogramming or you generalize and into something like uh, C++. I, I, as I was, when I was a freelancer, I did that. Like I, I specialized in C++, but I generalized in C++ frameworks. So I did work, I did work in Qt. I did work in other frameworks. And if if you have like a normal job, then you might be more specialized in doing a certain task for your company, which you know for a certain product. And at a certain point, maybe you mutate and you do you start doing something completely different, like I did, like you know, getting involved in community work, organizing a conference, and doing all those things. And and then maybe something else happens. <laughs> <laughs> and this is actually a quote uh, from a keynote at C++ Now, which is by those who've seen it live, very famous. And this is. One of the most ridiculous things I ever heard at C++ now, actually. And so, but on the other hand, it, it always kind of wasn't back in the of my mind and got me thinking. And today I think, well, maybe Stanley Lipman wasn't like totally wrong. Because um, on the other hand, uh, people who are not programming, they, they, they hear this, uh, save your job, learn programming, okay? And that's basically the philosophy of a lot of uh, what other people do. My brother did that and it was like really crazy. Uh, when I visited in Wisconsin my brother this year, uh, I was sitting at my PC uh, doing, um, at, my, at this laptop doing a C++ and he was doing on his laptop Ruby on Rails. And this was kind of crazy. Um, because actually I studied something completely different from that and he's, he's not supposed to be a programmer. Uh, that wasn't like in his career. So. What do you do if you're a programmer? You know, we, we cannot become a programmer. We cannot learn programming because we're already programmers. So, you know, is, is the answer becoming a better programmer? Or what should we do as programmers? What is our career advice? As like everybody else like is, learn pro is now learn is trying to learn programming. And on the other hand, um, learning programming is usually popular and we already like teach it at kindergarten level and in, in elementary schools. Um, so, and on the other point, uh, in, in 10 years, we, we have no idea how, you know, predicting the future, et cetera, though. Uh, I've seen, you've seen that enough slides from that. And so, um, I think that programming will like become like a, a speaking like a, a foreign language, like I speak English and German and yeah. And so, and on the other hand, we have things like machine learning, which are getting insanely good at things, and maybe have self-driving cars in the future, but maybe also self, like, you know, our jobs will probably become easier, or we, we become more productive with the language futures, but also with AI, etc. And we, we have no idea if the demand keeps up, or if there's like a lot of programmers then, and um, if the demand is still there, or we, maybe they have like an overcapacity. So again, the question, you know, what, what to do if you're a programmer and what, what, what should you do in, in, in for your career to, to, to still be a programmer in, in 10 years? Become a better programmer? Or maybe, I, I think maybe you should you know, start like thinking outside of the box and uh, learn to apply the tools of programming in other fields and like really, really like to, to understand what makes programming, what is programming, not just like using APIs. Um, so. I think that domain knowledge plus programming should, you know, open a lot of interesting ways for your own future, uh, future, and maybe future, um, and also, yeah, maybe you know, um, have an exit plan like a plan B. That's probably a good option to have, as we do not really know what the uh, future offers, you know, and that's. Thank you very much. Yeah.